Hey guys, iHeartMovies here, and welcome back to Let's Play Wild Arms. Alright, let's go ahead and start exploring the village of Court Seam today. And talk to some people while we're here, find some treasure, and do stuff. This is Court Seam, a village of orphans and people running from the monsters. Well, that doesn't sound like a very nice place to live. Right then, uh, what do you have to say? Well, let's help out the new kids. Well, that's nice of them. Aww, how sweet. Let's see, we have an interesting new shop here. No equipment here, but they sell elemental rings. Yeah, power of uh, Geo, Aqua, you can pretty much these are all elemental rings. Like Geo is earth, Aqua is water, flame is fire, so on, so on, and so forth. Um, they can be useful uh, if you put them at, on your left hand as it shows there. But really, I don't use them that much. I mean, they're helpful for some boss fights that you need elemental protection from. But really, I don't use them that much, so. So, yeah, generally, I yeah, don't worry about them. We got Mr. Dapple. Let's go ahead and use that. On um, wow, her, her sorcery is really, really high. Let's do it to Rudy because his is extremely low. Let's see. Yeah, there's more items around here. Um, item shop here if you still need it. I don't think I do. Got 33. Blah blah blah. I'm not gonna bother with that. Anything to sell? Okay, nah. Anything in here? Nope, nothing here. Let's see, yeah, there's, um, there's a few items around here. I need to find them all. Anything up here? Nope. And uh, anything here? Aha, there is. We get a power apple. Let's go ahead and give that to... Oh, do it to Rudy. Why not? Well, anything interesting to say with these, with these people? If I, didn't actually talk, if I didn't actually talk to them, we grew up in the orphanage. And that's about it. Can I talk to you? Hey. That's true. They should. Alright, let's head off to the left side of the town. Oh, there's a bridge. Going on a picnic. Ooh, where to? I want to come. <laughs> anyway, now uh, let's see. Okay, actually, I have a crap load of crest grass. I have seven of those. So let's get some new spells while we're at it. Haven't done that in an extremely long time. Um... Let's see, I do want to get the Increase Encounter Rate spell. That's good for just random battles and training. It definitely helps with that. Okay, that's the Curse spell. Definitely want that. Um, absorb Magic as MP. Um, avoid an attack. Magic Resistance. Evil on Weapon. Overcome with Anger. Um, nothing I really want here. Let's try out Black Magic. Let's see, Blind. Study Abilities. Nullify Magic Spell. Imprison. Prevent magic use, confuse. These spells kind of suck. Yeah, nothing else I really need right now. That stupid headset needs to stop slipping off my head. Um, yeah, there's actually nothing I particularly want to be honest. So, may as well just save my crest grass. And let's see. Alright, good. Put it on the left side. Yeah, I generally try to keep uh, white magic on the left side and black magic on the right side. I don't know why I started doing that, but it's something I always did. So, all right, here an item around here somewhere. Um, okay, it's here somewhere. Is it in here? No, it is not. All right, let's check up here. Aha! Oh, another crest graph. Okay, well, there's no barrels in there. Okay, there's another item up here somewhere. So, oh, it's a rather big house for this village. Okay, what do we have over here? An agile apple. Let's give that to... No, oh, give it to Jack. Why not? Is that everything? Yes, it is. So let's see who lives here. I mean, it's an awfully big house for this village, but... Hmm. Alright, let's head downstairs. Let's see. This guy over here... They're Nikolai. Um... I don't think we really need anything upgraded right now. Maybe upgrade the- oh, can't upgrade the hit percentage anymore. Okay, never mind. Okay, so this guy Nikolai? Yes, he is. Nikolai Matswell. Where have we heard that name before? Hmm. Might, must be my, my imagination. An old man's lab. Wait a second. Yeah. Yeah, we're we're his grandchild, grandchild, son, same thing.
Uh oh, plot development. Well, not plot, character development. Pretty much looks exactly the same as he does now. Dream Chaser had raised Rudy since infancy. During their travels, Zeppa taught Rudy the life of a Dream Chaser. Most importantly, he gave Rudy a heart. A heart to protect the ones he loved. Aww, how sweet. This, not so much. He's already been alone, and he's only 15. Ouch. Does this point look familiar from the intro FMV? I think it does. Well, since the game did that, it gave you a little more development about Rudy to learn about his past, since he never talked about it. Um, yeah, I would think so. Wait, daughter Jane? We didn't know it was your house. Well, a little while ago, um, we met you back in the uh, cage tower like hours and hours ago, so. Anyway. Go to the southeast and cross the shallow water. There you will find the epitaph of the sea wind. Uncompleted tower were used for research of a flight machine. Well, that would be helpful. I think this key may let fun people get you inside. He did the wind-up key. Alright then, so let's go ahead and head off to the epitaph of the sea. Epitaph of the wind sea, it is. Oh, hi Jane. No, we didn't. Nah, don't worry. You, you're, you can trust Rudy. He's a mute, so... Yeah, your secrets are safe with him. Right then, um... Okay, I already know that. Thought I might have said something different, but I guess not. Alright then, so let's hop in our golem, buddy. And actually, let's head down here first. To the Sacred Shrine. We're not actually supposed to come here until later in the game. But there's some treasure we can get around here, and there's no enemies, so... Oh, pretty rainbow barrier. The barrier will prevent the demons from entering. So, yeah, there's no battles here. So let's go ahead and explore this part, actually, for a little bit. And actually, I, I, I recommend coming here first, as you'll need to learn the uh, landscape of it later. Any items in here? No. No, oh, it's a dupli duplicator door. I have two of them. Let's go inside. Oh, wow, there's a... Crap, little crap here. Jeez, so we get another duplicator. Magic carrots. Potion berry. What else we got here? Revive fruit. Crest graph. And another secret sign. Nice. Oh, lots of good stuff there. Yeah, I'll save the, I'll save the uh, secret sign for later. Not right now. Alright, let's head off to the right now. Yeah, I wonder why this place is even doing here. I wonder why the people even use it. Oh well, no, nothing here. Anything down here? There's a chest, obviously. You have potion berry and a secret secret book. Nice. Let's give that to Cecilia. Ooh, much better sorcery boost. Alright then, yeah, let's head up here. Thought the door's locked. Um there's some stuff around here I too, I think. Let's see, this barrel we have some money. Let's see, anything over here? Yes, there is. Down here. Oh, more money. Nice. I like getting more money. See anything up here? Oh, just stairs. Let's see. What's in this door? Okay, item up here. Or another potion berry. Is that our third one already? Jeez. Alright then. Oh, another duplicator door. Let's go in here. Ooh, a fast draw statue. Uh-oh. 
Let's see. Well, we can learn on the fast draw hint here, but what exactly is it? And what do, what will we find in the epitaph of the winds of the sea wind? Find out next time on Let's Play Wild Arms. This has been I Movie signing off, guys. Have a nice day and thanks for watching.